Well, there were these two lifelong friends, and they couldn't have been any different. One of them was very industrious, a hard worker, very ambitious, and the other one, not so much. But he had a lot of talent. Whatever he did, he was really good at it. He mastered whatever he tried, whether it was sports or anything artistically or musically. But the, the one that uh, worked hard was tired of the other one laying around the house and, and getting drunk and spitting bird seeds everywhere and uh, leaving beer cans everywhere and his dip cup. <clears throat> so um, he came home one day and he said, listen, you know where I work is a, a five-star restaurant with a very nice, exclusive uh, mahogany piano bar. The, um, the piano player there, uh, after many years, he's retiring and as well as you play the piano, nobody plays it better. I can get you a, a job. I can get you, at least I can get you an audition. And once they hear you play, I know they're going to hire you. But um, don't worry, I, I'll dress you and tell you what to say and everything. And all you got to do is play really well. So he, he, does, he shows up for the interview, for the audition, and just brings down the house with his playing. It's so good, so beautiful. And the manager comes up to him and says, that's some of the, the the best piano playing I've ever heard, but I've never heard that song. I, I know much. I know a lot about Beethoven and Mozart, but I've never heard that. He said, "What is it?" Well, the guy's real crude, real country, real rough. He said, "Well, I reckon I write my own songs, and in that right there, I called it. I ran over a possum, and I brung him home. I cooked him whole and ate him." He said, "God Almighty, jeez, okay." But well, do you happen to have another song you play for us? So he played another one, and he, him, again, he brought down the house. People were crying. Manager said, I haven't heard that one before. Don't tell me you wrote that one, too. He said, yes, sir, I sure did. And in that right there, I call it, I was a shopping in the mall, and I shorted in my britches, and it smelled just like a dead skunk. Manager said, good God, listen, you got the job under one condition. You're not to talk. You get here from the time you're here to the time you leave. You play the piano and you don't talk. So uh, he said, all right, then, I think I can handle that there. So the first day at work, he's running late, unorganized. He didn't have, didn't, couldn't find any clean underwear, so he didn't have any. Didn't wear any. So uh, he's dropped his keys and bends over and splits his pants, you know, right down the middle. So he goes to work and he gets there a little late. The manager is worried and says, listen, just go start playing, but don't talk. So uh, he starts playing and, and there's uh, a lot of people there and everybody stops and nobody's eating. Everybody's listening and people are, are crying. And there's one little old lady that sits right there at the piano. Um, and she was into her cup. She tried, she'd had a lot of martinis and she kept bending over looking and she kept looking and finally in, in between songs, she said, uh, uh, young man, uh, do you know you have a hole in your pants and all of your junk is hanging out? He said, lady, I, I, I not only know it, I wrote the damn thing. <laughs>